Hi, I'm Scott Davenport. In this video, we're going to look at On One Photo Raw's Develop and Effects modules. We're going to concentrate on the tools, the different filters, where presets live, and how you can apply them to your photos. Later videos, we'll do some end-to-end -end processing to see these filters and tools in action. So let's begin. I have the Develop module selected here. A develop and Effects are laid out the same way. On the very left-hand side, we have a variety of tools to work with our photo. We have our presets. These are the same presets that we saw in Browse. And any of these different categories, you get a thumbnail that shows you what the photo will look like if you were to apply it to your photo. Across the top, we have our toolbar. And these options will change based on the tool you have selected. So this is contextual. For example, if I choose the crop tool, we'll see that I get crop controls here. I got ratios. I can set width and height. I can do leveling, all that kind of stuff. On the very right hand side, I have our levels for our histogram. We have a navigator, so if you're zooming in, you can use this to move around your photo. And we also have the basic info for the photo itself. The real power of develop comes in when you want to make changes to your photo. And those are in these different layers or settings we have here. We have tone and color, which is always available. It's always on every photo. And it's the stuff you would expect to need to adjust in just about every image you're working with. Your exposure, add a little contrast, deal with highlights and shadows, your white balance, all those kind of things are here. We also have details, lens corrections, and then other specialty filters. You know, we have curves, we have a split tone, which I've added to this photo. We have vignetting. If you're doing portraits, you have skin retouching. And you just click on these and add them to your set of filters you're applying to the scene. And any of them can be turned on and off at any time, like the split tone, I can turn that off and on. And I get the, the change immediately. I can see what's going on there. Now let's take a look at effects. And then uh, after we've done that, I'll explain some of the differences between the two modules. In effects, one of the first things we notice that's different is we have more tools. Well, this is a key difference between effects and develop. In effects, any filter can be masked. It can be selectively applied to portions of your photo. So develop is global settings. Effects can be tailored to specific areas of your photo. We have the same presets. We also have a tab for all the filters. These filters are all here. Those are the same filters we have on the right hand side. If you like to work visually, you can open up and see the different filters. And if I were to choose one of these, it will apply that filter on top of the photo. You know, or you can work with the filter stack and just add in things from the list over here. If I add in bleach bypass, I get these different styles. Those match the styles in my filter panel. So if you like to work visually, use the filter panel. If you prefer to work with, I know what I want, I just want to go work on sliders, you work on the right hand side. Now we can see that the develop module has many more filters. All the things that you have in develop are here. All those specialty filters are here and a lot more. So there's many more creative options inside of effects that we don't have in develop. So that's a second difference where if you're looking for a specialty type of filter, an antique look, or for me, my favorite is dynamic contrast, really fine grained contrast control, you're going to go into effects and use the filters here. All right, let's clean up a little bit here. And we'll go over to this last one here. I want to point out local adjustments. Now, local adjustments, as the name implies, these are designed to be selectively applied to areas of your photo. This tab is shared between develop and effects. As I move back and forth here, I'm in effects right now looking at local adjustments. I go to develop. And other than we see the toolbar change, I'm still looking at the same local adjustments. So this tab applies to both effects and develop. I'm in develop, here's my tone and color, all of these things. I go to effects, I'm looking at different filters. Those local adjustments are still the same. So that one sometimes is a little confusing, but local adjustments are, you know, they span both develop and effects. And you can use them in either of your uh, modules. It doesn't matter where you are. You need a local adjustment, just flop over the tab and go right away and apply one. And so here I've got one that's applying some, some type of temperature gradient. And if I were to show the mask, 
with that little button there, we can see that I'm applying something to the bottom of the scene and not to the top. And that's the nature of local adjustments. You're applying them selectively to areas of your photo. Now, later videos, I'll show you how the masking tools work and get into some of the intermediate and advanced uh, workflow videos. But that's the fundamentals. I want to make sure you understand that local adjustments are designed to be applied selectively. And in develop and effects, we have overall settings. Overall settings and effects, all these different filters overall settings and develop all of these different filters. And you can apply any of them in any order that you like. They're all non-destructive and they all give you the a very immediate feedback of what it's doing to change your photo. Now my usual workflow is I'll start and develop and I'll do my basic adjustments in the tone and color area. So my exposure, my contrast, white balance, and so forth. Then if there's any other types of adjustments I need to make globally for the photo, I'll do those in develop as well. Maybe there's a general color change I want to make everywhere. We saw in this example, I had a split tone applied. I'm going to do that to the entire photo. I'll do that in develop. Anything I need to do specialized, or I want either a specialized filter or I want to control only portions of the photo receiving a particular filter. I move into effects and use those filters and then finishing up with local adjustments for any fine tuned uh, you know, warmth or detail or anything where I need to do a, a very targeted change. Now, one other thing that's in both develop and effects are retouch tools. So if you've got dust spots or objects that are distracting to your photo or anything you need to have cleaned up, skin blemishes, whatever it might be, we have a perfect eraser. That's a content aware fill tool. We've got a retouch brush. That's for your simple dust spots or blemish removals. And you've got a clone stamp thing. So if you need to make a copy pixel by pixel, if you're working on something that's a very intricate pattern that you need to maintain, you have all these different tools here and they can do uh, wonders when they're used together to do retouching. So any type of retouching job you may have on your photo, develop and effects, have the tools to handle it. In the next set of videos, we're going to see these tools in action. We'll do some start to finish processing of photos. We'll start off light, we'll warm up with some uh, basic processing, we'll do some intermediate things, and then we'll look at some advanced techniques as well. The tools run really deep. And if you like what you see here, check out my YouTube channel as well. I've got a lot more videos there featuring on one. And my storefront's got several products that will go really deep into many of these topics.